welcome guys in this tutorial I want to show you how to create a dome I will create the dome using the beam column and move let's start Start by draw a line, set a circle or arc, and I will draw a line to show our boundaries in which our dome will cover. And I will type 15,000. Then I will select a column and after selecting it, I press it uh, along the circumference of that dome. And I select it and change the properties to be a circular one to look good in our dome. I choose the circular. After that, I will multiply it by rotating by spreading by rotating around the circumference and control u spread uh, spread by an angle of 15 rotate with path and i press ok i extend the circumference and then to center and then start rotating around it to press the column in which our dome will be supported. After that, go to 3D and to look how it look like. Then I go back to the ground floor and then select this slab. That's it. And here, the properties of how is it look like? Let's let okay. Stand here. Select the cycle one. Go up to the conference. They will draw the slab. Select it and the. I drag it to the center. The two centers to be at the same point. To that, I'll take one of the column and press it at the center of our dome to see where to see where is the center of our dome is so that when we draw our dome we will have exactly we we'll draw it exactly from the center after that really how it look like then I will stretch it in order to give our dome a, a semi, semi semi spherical shape to that I will use it a little bit then I go back there Ground floor, set a beam, then give it the circular material steel, home story, set a thousand, three thousand, then I from this 
you can please to the center like that our column is too big we reduce the size to about 100 see how it look like too slim we'll increase a little bit to 150 okay it's now look nice elevate it to the top of a dome and I'll curve it to give it a dome like shape that it is now look a little bit good go back to the ground floor and I will spread this this beam around each column by spreading it by rotating by the angle of 15 in order each column to support a beam over it and at the same time that beam will be supported at the central column and it is now loading waiting for some time yes it is now done let look with press our beam around the columns to hold the column and a new beam created. It is loading. And it is done. You select the beam, and it is too big. So let's change the size, give it about one in fifty hundred. One hundred and fifty. It is loading a little bit. Wait, wait for it. It is now done. After that, go to the our 3D to see how is it look like. created dome our new created dome yes it's now look amazing but it has no covering so our duty now is to cover it each segment we covered using a morph to give better shelter so we select morph and we will start drawing and go zoom it at around the connection between the circumferential beam and the dome column and then we start drawing 
up to the central center column then exactly the mark at that mark to that and curve it to align with the the beam the red beam of our dome now is it yes we go to other beam in another side yes the curve it to align with this beam so I select the vertical element vertical plane and it is done to that we go to curve it to align with the circumferential beam the boundary beam it is well aligned we will finish our duty by clicking where we start then you select the move go to design modify move cover with faces choose the most surface press ok and our be our opening will be now covered Set move, change the material to give it a fascinating look as in Caramine Law, switch the music on press K. After that, we go to the ground floor. Select your new rule, create a D, move, and we will spread it around each by spreading by the same angle 15 and rotate around our dome to press each one. To cover each opening of our dome and our dome will be covered yes and it is done let's see it in 3d it is now look fascinating it's now look good thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and more tutorials our next video will be on how to mold a building like Sydney Opera using Earthpad. Don't plan to miss it. Thank you for watching.